Stephanie did. Hi, baby. Hey. I'm not getting on camera because I look like death. Oh, she never looks bad, though. No, my skin hurts, my hair hurts, it's not good. But you guys give Rocky lots of love, because uh -uh. you're right, Sandra, the, Sandra, the show must go on. Uh, and I'll see you guys Wednesday, I hope, as long as this goes away. She'll be better Wednesday, folks. But I'm probably going to go to sleep now. Gotcha, baby. I'll try and keep it down. Oh, it's that, okay. <laughs> Love you, baby. Yeah. You still have that on CD you sent me with the other... Oh, oh you do? Yeah. And you remember Do Me, huh? You, uh, yeah, you used to follow my originals when I first moved down here. I, I remember that, Heidi. Thanks. Uh, I appreciate that. I got one more original for you. Uh, this one, uh, definitely Bob Seger was a big influence of mine, too. And uh, his minor chords, like on Turn the Page, they influenced me a lot. You'll hear it in this one here. This one's... Uh, one I wrote down in Florida when I was living down in Tampa. Uh, this is called I'll Do Anything. <laughs>
He was 20, and he fell in love with a, a, a gal, uh, my girlfriend's sister, who was 40. So 20-year-old, 40-year-old. And to top it off, she was married. There's a girl in my life, and she's someone else's <laughs> wife. And, uh, and, and in fact, that guy, uh, Chuck, uh, you remember Brian Hyland. Uh, this guy played guitar for uh, Brian Hyland. Itsy Bitsy Teeny Weeny, that guy. And uh, uh, it, was, it was cool that I met him, but they were going through a divorce, and she was having an affair with this friend of mine that was 20, and boom, boom, man, uh, up came that song out of, uh, out of all that. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Uh, hey, Rick Seckley's on. Uh, everybody say hi to my friend Rick Seckley. Uh, we met, uh, oh, geez, right around the time Elvis died uh, out in California. He lived across the street from one of my best friends going to school. And uh, he moved recently to Nashville, which is uh, one of my favorite top five cities of all time. I love old Nashville. And uh, Rick, uh, Rick and I uh, played music a long time ago. We played a couple weddings out there in L.A. And uh, he's a drummer. His name is Rick Seckley. Everybody say hi to Rick. <laughs> yeah, all right. I'm going to do a, a couple of originals, uh, you know, because I, I really didn't know what I was going to do. It was just kind of the last second thing here where we knew the show couldn't go on for her. So uh, I'm just going to do whatever pops into my head. This is one I wrote back in, oh my God, it's an oldie. 1979. That, that really is an oldie, isn't it? All right, this one's called. Uh, the Lady in Red. Me and Rick used to play this one. so beautiful up there, Jerome, Arizona. Woo! Yeah, I threw in a pop of peanut there. Did you hear that? <laughs> Woo! Chuck Rollins missed your show yesterday. We had uh, Stephanie's sister over uh, and her uh, nephew, Casey. You guys remember Casey had that GoFundMe, had that uh, 
a little danger with shoulder surgery. That's why I won't get mine. Anyway, uh, they both came over yesterday, so it was a little family dinner, and that was that was pretty cool. Uh, but I noticed on one of uh, one of your feeds that you wore a Stephen Rock shirt on your show. That is so cool of you, Chuck. We love you to death, man. Thanks for your support. Mm -hmm. This is really vodka. Gotta tell you, I'm a little nervous playing all by myself. So much more comfortable when you got a partner like Stephanie Savage. This one. That's the only song I ever had recorded on vinyl. A group called the Leatherwoods out of uh, Minnesota. Uh, Tim O'Regan uh, sang the lead vocal on my song called Something Ain't Right, uh, 1987. <laughs> says 77.7 degrees May 2nd 2021 <laughs> I want a time machine <laughs> Uh, 
Back to back originals. Hope you don't mind. Uh, 1986. Of requests for this, but I haven't done it in a long time because uh, everything I wrote was so sad, you know, and I'm, I'm not sad anymore. Well, today I am. But <laughs> Scott, uh, Oingo Boingo. Wow, that's great. You get, you guys. I can, I can see both of you guys being bodyguards. You guys got a lot in common. And uh, and if if I was Elvis, you'd be my Memphis Mafia. <laughs> you'd be my Red and Sunny. I tell you, Scott and uh, Mark. I love both those boys. Alrighty, I'm I'm winding down. I got I got a couple more to do. I'm gonna. I, I never get to do the originals too often anymore, and nobody wants to really hear them. But you guys, uh, you guys are, are being patient with me on these and let me get this stuff out. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do another original. I, I, I went in the studio uh, out in L.A. when I first got started. That was, that was amazing. I, I went in and uh, recorded a song with uh, my, my girlfriend's mother and her painter. The three of us wrote a song called Time. And so I go in the studio. And in the studio at the same time was uh, Lee Dorman, the bass player for Iron Butterfly. 
here it was 1974. I just started. Um, I mean, um, my girlfriend's mom was a, was a, 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 a piano player, and uh, she gave lessons in her home, and we just went through a bunch of songs, and, and she got my career started. And, uh, and she knew a guy that had that studio, so we went in and recorded. But then all these years go by, and it's 1986, and I'm with a guy. Uh, uh, he, uh, he played with Billy Squire. He was my uh, lead guitar player. And he uh, had some studio time, so he gave me uh, five songs to record. And uh, one of them was the Maya's Arena I did for you earlier. Hi, baby. How are you? No better, huh? It said broadcast interrupted online, that's why I... Oh, no. I think it's okay. Everybody's still, still on. <laughs> so anyway, I recorded uh, Maya Zarenin, uh Seven Nights a Week, Lovely Lady Ladine, and this one. And uh, a good friend of mine, he passed away a couple years ago. He wrote the words, I wrote the music. This is called Tears from My Heart. Wednesday at 4. So come on back. Pacific time. 4 o'clock. I miss her already. Here we go. Things like an angel with a dragonfly halo. Still, 
step for me. Kitty cat mama happy, you're my girl. Step for me. I love my step for me. You will a little step for me. Step for me. Step for me. Step for me. Everybody. Everybody. <laughs> I just wanted to write me a little uh little Cajun, little Hank Williams type of song for my baby. That was my Stephanie song after almost nine years. Sorry it took so long, baby. So, sing that one, please, Rocky. Well, uh, which one? Wild Child? God, I hate doing that. Well, she finally figured it out, and it sounds so good with my baby, but I'll try. I wrote this in uh, 1995. I think I was at Suki's, by the way. Talking about Suki's. Suki's was my favorite female boss ever, man, up there in the Topeka, Kansas. That's right. from Topeka, uh, right there, and uh, right across the street, old Fred Phelps in the uh, church, uh, whatever his stupid church was, they, they were even in the National Enquirer, Fred Phelps, Google that guy, anyway, he was picketing across the street while I was playing my so-called retirement party back in 2005 in uh, Topeka, Kansas, uh, it was called the uh, Elon Grill at the time, uh, what, what, it was a few other names. It was right by the old Gage Four Theaters, and of course Bullfrogs was right down the way, and I played there too. But the other place you're talking about, the strip joint, that was called the Golden Horseshoe Club out south of uh, Topeka, and uh, they had the country bar in the back, and then in the front, connected, was a strip bar. It was amazing. <laughs> talking to speak on, on this is great. Oh. Home is where, uh, where the heart is. I, I believe in that, too. Uh, my heart in my home is in the other room there. And uh, this is a special... Uh, sad. It's sad that she's not feeling good because the music is good for the soul, and she needs that today. Uh, today is uh, the uh, seven-year anniversary of her mama's passing, and uh, the poor girl's got to go through that. And... All right, here's another song I wrote called 
Mr. Memphis, you can guess what this is about. <laughs>
do me. Do me, do me, do me, not get to my knees. I got something in my pocket. I'm gonna pocket, shoot it off like a rocket tonight. No doubt. And Henderson. <laughs> and Boulder. <laughs> but if, if you guys got, you know, other things to do, I understand because that girl that is not here, she she is the queen of all female singers uh, ever. And and uh, and I've seen the best. I, I love Barbara Streisand. This girl's better than Barbara Streisand. I love Linda Ronstadt. This girl's better than Linda Ronstadt. You know, uh, she's the best. And when you take away the king, you know, you know what it's like. It's it's the reason why the Beatles never got back together after John Lennon was killed. Uh, it's not the same without John. So, you know, this is a Rocky Jackson solo st show. Uh, this can never be Stefan Rock without Stephanie. There's too many good Elvis guys out there, like Chuck. He does a lot of Elvis stuff. Uh, Sonny Boleyn and uh, all these guys. You know, I let, I, let the, I let the Elvis guys take care of the Elvis stuff. I still love Elvis. Uh, he, he's, he's my number one uh, singer of all time. It's, it's Elvis. And uh, John Lennon, and Hank Williams, uh, B.J. Thomas, and uh, Chuck Berry. Those are my top five. <laughs>